hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut an alter neck drawstring top it is a very simple top and is beginner friendly so i already folded my fabric into four you can see it here into four the i'm going to be putting zipper but the zipper will be at the side okay so there is no need of putting zipper allowance at the back we are going to use the side seam allowance as zipper allowance so the top length i'm working with is 22 inches from this point here to this point is 22 inches and i had it one inch for seam allowance and then i had it one inch for seam allowance up here as well and then i i inserted my shoulder to shoulder measurement of seven inches this is my shoulder to shoulder measurement of seven inches and then my shoulder line my ham hole line of seven and half you can see the seven and half here for this kind of top you don't need any shoulder slant around here okay because we are going to be you know uh gathering this neck part together so there is no need for um for shoulder slope so from i'm going to determine the middle point of my armhole length so i have three three quarter here so i came out by half an inch if you want you can just connect the line like this but i want to do some uh, adjustment to my armhole so the neck you can just leave the neck straight as it is but i want it to come down a little to uh, to my neck so i'll just come down here by two inches i'm going to mark two inches here okay i'll just come down here by two inches because i want it to come down a little and then i would um, connect the i'll connect the two inches line from here from this point here now down here okay you can see it so and then i will also come in you know i came in here by half an inch so from the shoulder area here i'll also come in here by half of an inch okay and then i'll connect the line i'll connect the handle so for you to know how deep you need to go you can just measure one inch upward like so so another thing is you can come down by half of an inch just for for you to have ease around the ammo area but i don't want my ammo area to be exposed so i'll just leave the shoulder line as it is but you can come down if you want you can come down by half of an inch if you want so i'll just connect from here you can use your free hand if you want you can use your free hand i'll just connect from here now and then to this place just use your free hand it's okay so I'll, i'm going to take my um, bust measurement the quarter of my bust plus one inch seam allowance so i'll have nine and half so this is nine and half here and i'll be taking my uh, waist measurement so my waist is 16 inches so quarter of my waist is um quarter of my waist is seven three quarter is seven and a half quarter of my waist is seven and a half plus one inch seam allowance i have eight and a half okay and then i'll insert my hip measurement as well hip measurement is 10 quarter of my hip is 10 inches okay so from here to here and from here to my hip okay but you are going to curve it you don't just take this straight line as it is you are going to curve it to your hip so at my hip area here i'll just take the one inch seam allowance aside like so and i will go up by one inch from here because you want to curve that side you don't want it sharp so i'll curve it and then connect it 
back to this place you can see what i have so after you have connected you've curved this place you can now take your one inch seam allowance so i'll go ahead and take the one inch seam allowance now so now this is my seam allowance here you can see the seam allowance this is the seam allowance down here and also at this neck area so at this ham hole area you can just add half an inch seam allowance to this ham area as well so i'm going to add the half an inch for seam allowance or you can use half an inch you can use quarter of an inch so at this neck area now we are going to take the one inch seam allowance for a last for the rope casing because we are going to be passing rope there so you inch from the neck we created okay so you measure the one inch upward as i'm doing a ruler to connect it back Let's go ahead and cut and cut it out So at the front here, I want it to have a hole around here. So I'm just going to like create the hole. So the hole about three and a half inches length. So I'll create it here and then I'll mark from here. Now I'll connect like so. Okay. I'll just connect like this. okay just connect like this and then i'll cut it out I'll, I'll just cut this place open okay and then i'll fold it back here so this is how you are going to so i marked it from the initial uh neck uh, neck depth okay so i'll go ahead and cut this place out when you want to fold in you fold this back in like this can you see so and then i'll finish this place up with a bias so we are done with the with the rope i use 40 inches length the rope is 40 inches and then the the wideness of the rope is two inches so what you do is you fold it into half on this side fold it into half on the other side and then you fold it on top of each other like this and then you sew it around and this edge here you fold it in like so before you fold the rope inward like this and then you stitch it down so i'm done joining the top together this is what i have i use the same fabric as the buyers so and i also finished up this this area this keyhole area and this is a hemming i also took the hemming allowance so this side is where i'll be inserting the zipper so i'll be putting zipper on this side and then i'll pass this rope on this side so let me come we'll start from this hand you will start passing it from this hand and it will come out from the other hand so i have passed the elastic hand so I'll just go ahead now and um, attach the zipper and then show you how it looks. This is the outcome of the top and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.